All right, everybody, welcome back to fishingwithvance.com. This is High Life. We're working on some boat mods today. Uh, in the great state of Pennsylvania, this is the day before trout season, which is uh, going to open tomorrow on Saturday, the 14th of April. The weather here has been absolutely, totally shitty. I don't know another word for it, but that's what it's been. Pretty much anybody that you ask will confirm that here in Pennsylvania. So this has really been the first nice day here in quite some time. So we're up into the high 60s, low 70s, sunny. We don't even know what to do with ourselves. So we're going to get working on some boat mods right now. i got to finish up this table that hopefully everybody has seen in the previous videos. So this is called our King Tut version. Working on this right now, just trying to get some stuff done. we got the Lazy Miller here in place. we got the hole for our Samsung charger, and that's what I'm working on right now. So just want to give you guys a little bit of an update, let you know what's going on with this guy. So we got our USB charger right here. That's underneath the table as such. I got a couple of these leads in. These are going to go right into the back of that guy right there. Uh, just did a quick test with that, uh, with this guy right here. That does fire up nicely and is going to be able to do a charge. So what we got to do now is I got to get this guy into here we're going to plexiglass the bottom we're going to plexiglass the top in order to make that weatherproof i do have to cut out a little notch right here so i'm going to dremel that out with old man uh gwen's uh dremel tool we'll set that in there that'll come out um we're gonna have a usb cord then that's going to go into here which will then help to power that from here down to the battery then we should have juice up on top so we're going to see how this all works out. This is uh, definitely a work in progress and something i got to go a little bit slower with. Then what we'll do is that we will finish out the mods on the table here. Lazy Miller, we'll have the pole holders here. We'll have the magnetic strips as we talked about. As you can see, we already have the one uh, taper, the one ruler down there. We'll have the fish grippers up on here. Don't know whether we're going to do the can holders or not. I don't think so. Um, obviously, the whole thing has been flex sealed. Vance took care of that. did a great job. So that's where we're at. Stay tuned. Check back here in a few. You know what we do when we do it here, though, at fishingwithvance.com. We don't do mods or any of the such without a little bit of this. What's this? Bills? See ya. We're going to get into this guy right here. Welcome to Miller Time. Miller Mods. All right, guys, welcome back here. So we're making a little bit of progress here on the bottom of the table in order for the Samsung fast charge wireless charger to be put in here. So as you can see, I just dremeled out this little guy right here. I don't know what that looks like to you, but I know what it looks like to me. I haven't seen one of those since eighth grade, so I'll just leave that silent for right now. But was thinking, and I had mentioned this on either the past video or here just uh, before as well, where we're gonna put plexiglass on here and then super glue that down. I don't think that that is the thing to do on the bottom because in my experience, especially whenever it comes to electronics, sooner or later something is gonna break, it's not gonna work, it's just gonna die out, um, whatever that case is. I don't know how long that this thing is gonna hold up with the sun bearing down on it all day, uh, maybe a little bit of condensation getting in there, whatever. So if we uh, plexiglass this and super glue it, I can't get that off without basically ruining the table. So what we're going to do, we're going to adapt and we're going to overcome. I'm just going to use a real thin sheet of wood under here. I'm going to pre-drill the table, pre-drill that sheet, and I'm going to put in just four, maybe five, depending on how many screws and then set that here on the bottom. That way, if this thing ever does give out, I have a quick and easy way to be able to get to it. I don't think we need to plexiglass it. This is, you know, should be safe from the elements and things like that. Um, we will live and learn with that, but right now my main priority is being able to get that out of there and replace that if we need to, because I know what's gonna happen is that once I put this in here, Vance is gonna love this. He's gonna be charging everything in the world out on that boat. And as soon as we don't have it, it's just gonna be like Christmas getting taken away. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I need to figure that out, what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update with where we are at with the Samsung Fast Charge. And 
obviously we had to switch up the plans as i told you last time so basically this is what we got a little sheet of wood here this is actually seven inches by seven inches don't know if that matters uh, pre-drilled these corners out just put in a couple uh, really short wood screws here that's going to hold that bottom Case being then, if we ever do need to be able to remove that fast charger, all we got to do then is just take that thing off, and then we'll be able to get to that because on the top of the table that is going to be super glued down with the plexiglass. So uh, let me see if I could see how this is going to work here, one-handed. Sorry for the video. Sorry. Pardon me. All right, so that's what that looks like. You got that little guy coming up there. That's obviously going to go right into here. So, pardon me, more bad video while I try and one hand this. Oop, sorry. actually fits in there way too well and then we're gonna do this right here and obviously this will be cut label come off this has a real thin plastic coating on there and put that guy right down on there just like that so let's see all right guys so you know that before we actually do this we got to do a test so I just hooked this up underneath the boat Cat's gonna bring his phone over. We're gonna see if this thing will actually charge. Test it out. Test, test, one, two. All right, and this is why we do tests. Let's try it the other way. Let's try it this way. <laughs> this is why we do tests <laughs> this has been a test of the emergency broadcast system what an idiot all right one second please hold let's this. remove the phone let's hold this retool the camera <laughs> there we go there now we gotta we now go. we gotta let it authenticate it's flashing we got a all little right, juice now it's, now it's ready what an idiot all right put that bad boy test on number there. two Quank. Let the juice fly, baby, baby. All right, so let's use this as a good word to the wise. Before you actually do run any test, you want to make sure that all your shit is plugged in. More importantly, then, before you actually finalize anything, you want to make sure that you run a test. And whenever you run that test, you want to make sure that all your shit is plugged in. <laughs> this has been a test of the Vance Emergency Broadcast System. All right, guys, so another update here for you on the Samsung fast charge. So, got the plexiglass cut, and here's our little covering that's still left. Wanted to put up one of the rod holders here just so that I had an idea of the spacing and everything like that. And so basically how this is gonna work or what the idea is, is that we're gonna have that plexiglass. I'm gonna just super glue the living hell out of this all in here. Uh, so I just went, I made some pencil marks on the corners here so that I know where that plate is going to go. I'm going to remove this plate. I'm basically going to drench this in super glue. I'm going to come back. I'm going to try and put that on there as close as I possibly can to make that match up. Try and get it square. And then we're going to hope for the best. We're going to let that sit. I'll put a weight on there. I'm not sure what yet. I better have that planned out. And then... What we'll do is that we'll run some uh, clear acrylic caulking around the sides and the edges in order to really make sure that that thing is going to be weatherproof. So, let me go get a weight rounded up. Let me get uh, the super glue. I'm not really sure where that is. I think I know where it is. And uh, let you guys know what we're going to use, how we're going to do it. Again, um, this is a little bit new area, new territory to me. But we'll see how this goes. And uh, wish us luck. Here we go. All right, here we are back. Wanted to make sure that I got this important update here for the people. Because that's what we do here. We give the people what they want. Right? Right. Right. 
So anyways, we just learned an important lesson here. So we have our flex seal that's been down on the table. There's my magic sheet of plexiglass that we were trying to use. And guess what? Gorilla super glue, for whatever reason, will not bond to this. At least with this. So I put that on there, put the sheet down, held that down for quite some time. Got no bonding whatsoever. I know it's good because I just wiped it up off there with this rag, and this rag is all sticking together from the super glue. So I don't know if it has something to do with this flex seal and its chemical composition or whatever. This now is different than this. This is like tacky and sticky. This is smooth. So back to the drawing board here. I'm not really sure what to do. I think what we're going to do is have to cut another piece of this. We're going to put this down. I'm going to use that regular acrylic caulking and just do a layer underneath. Put that down on there. We'll do another layer on the outside and then I think I'm going to try and screw that down on there. I think the other potential issue is is that I don't think I'll be able to show you properly but the fast charge pad is ever so slightly higher than the level of the table that does not allow that plexiglass sheet to really fully sit on there probably did not allow that super glue then to really get a good bead and, and get tight um, but I'd rather have this just ever so slightly above to make sure then we have good contact with the plexiglass and then good contact with the phone so this is what we got to do in times like this we have to adapt and overcome so let me see what i can figure out all right all here is our update on the samsung fast charge flat charger on the table with some plexiglass so what i originally tried was pretty much an absolute fail which was plexiglass on the table with the flex seal trying to be held down by super glue did not work whatsoever at all i don't know if it was a reaction between the super glue and the flex seal or whatever that case was i think some of it had to do with the fact that this charger ever so slightly is a little bit higher probably maybe at the max an eighth of an inch than the actual table so then that wants to pop that up and doesn't really allow that super glue to set. So we had to improvise and that's what we do here. So what we did, same seven by seven piece of plexiglass, uh, pre-drilled that. I had to put four screws in there. I'm not sure how Vance is gonna feel about that, but we're gonna find out. I did put a layer of uh, silicone caulking underneath in order to give that some uh, better weather uh, protection and then we put a layer around the outside here which isn't the prettiest thing that you've ever seen but i'm not trying to win a pageant i'm trying to make sure it's waterproof so that whenever we set a phone on there it's going to work and that this thing doesn't get wet so we're going to give this about a half an hour we're going to let that sit i think it's going to work i don't know but we're going to find out that's what we do here we adapt we overcome we have a high life or two all right, all, we're back. I can't handle it. Uh, it's only been maybe five minutes, seven minutes tops. I don't know. I got to make sure that this thing is going to work. So, here we go. Sweet baby Jesus. Looks like it's going to work. This has been a successful test of the Samsung Fast Charge flat charger with plexiglass brought to you exclusively by fishingwithvance.com. All right guys, here's our update. So, just went ahead and I'm waiting for the plexiglass platform to fully dry. It's almost dry. We're gonna give it a few more minutes. Maybe half an hour, I don't know. But we went up and we put, uh, we got the smoke stacks on now so got them all screwed down as you can see we got the little notches in here that way then the reel is going to sit out this way it can't flop all around and bang into the other reels get everything all tangled up so it'll just sit right out here we got those four then over there as well so that should be good for that waiting for this guy then to dry like i said 
we got a few more things here we got to get on so that's what we're going to work on right now just want to give you a quick update fish on right, whenever guys, you're ready and I... give you an update on where we are at with the multiple TVs 2018 <laughs> so been working away here today been working on the Samsung uh, flat fast charge so as you've already seen had a couple failures we had to adapt we had to overcome because that's what we do so we got the plexiglass on here now pre-drilled out the holes put some screws in there and then you know what we do here at fishingwithvance.com we poured the caulk to it and then we got that silicone caulk the whole way entire uh, around and uh, that's going to be waterproof now and we've already tested this this guy has worked so hopefully all things considered we're going to be set here now with this guy so we are really excited about that <laughs> haven't seen that done anywhere else we're going to have the ability to take one of our phones literally just place it right on there and it's going to charge up uh, which is going to be really great for us out in the water a couple of the other things then that we added to this table today so we really love uh, having the pole holders and Vance is all about hey listen we got to maximize what we're taking out in the water every time that we do it so on our old mod we had the ability to take six poles out now basically what we did we took the pole holders we're going to uh, squeeze them out here to the side we're going to do a form four basically this thing is going to look like a big old steamship going right down the mississippi and um, we have these they're notched out so then the reels will sit out this way they can't flap all around and bang into one another and get the poles all entangled so we're really excited about this i know it's just a matter of time the eight's not gonna be enough and vance is like listen we're gonna take 10 out we're gonna put four in here and you're gonna have one in your hand um, which it's always good to have options so no big deal there so a couple of the other things then that we did obviously you can see we got the v-a-n-c-e this is gonna be his side of the table down here uh, he will always know then where the charger is he's got his magnetic strip here we got our fish grippers which hopefully you guys have seen the other video one of the uh, modifications or the uh, things that we had to switch is that we had this guy before was down underneath the table really hard to get to it was okay but we wanted to have something that was a little bit more quick access so then we put the guy up here we got the metal ring that'll fit right on there then there we go you can uh, grab that be able to put that in the fish get them down in the water that way then uh, while maybe if it's a really big fish and we're fumbling around we got to put our stuff away that fish is gonna be in the water he's gonna be okay then and not cause any harm to the fish so we're really excited about that as well we got our measuring tape here on each side we got the, the white side over here we got the black side over here both will go up to about 36 37 roughly and uh, hopefully that should be able to take us uh, to any fish that we're gonna be able to catch we got the fishing with Vance logo then over here so hopefully then you guys have also seen in the previous videos we got this guy right here so we got the lazy miller because obviously we cannot be inconvenienced with having to switch a bag around on the middle of the table hey Vance let me have that hey no you know high life let me have this now you can put that bag right on there that guy's gonna spin right around we are really excited about that I think that that's going to be great for the year and uh, I, I can't wait to cut the video whenever we first use that that's gonna be really really good uh, so a couple of the other things then that uh, just in case if you guys haven't seen we got our new uh, motor to the battery hookup here these are those Anderson connectors that I had in the previous video these are really really nice this enables you then to snap those together and then whenever it's time to get out if you do have to uh, get the motor out of here anything like that pull those apart really really quick uh, connect and then disconnect so we're excited to use those we will definitely film that then the first time that we're out to let you guys know how those uh, work have heard nothing but positive reviews on this so next thing though that we're gonna work to try and finish this thing off then for the 2018 season we got some seat modifications um, so this was a couple of the seats here. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this was a seat here that we had used last year. I believe, if I remember right, we got the seat from Academy. Um, the seat did really, really well. No issues with it or anything like that. The issue with the seat is that, I don't know if you guys can see this. 
it's really loosey goosey on there and it's not actually from the connection underneath the seat that's stable it's this swivel that's underneath there and those give out over time so we got some new swivels so we're going to be putting those on there in order to get us more stable Vance then the other day picked up this new seat so we're going to be working with this and then one of the things that we're going to do is that we're going to put some uh, plywood underneath there in order to extend that seat up a little bit to give us a little bit of height and then also give us a little bit more stability then as well so we're going to work on that and then hopefully that should probably be the last mod that we're going to have for this boat before then we really get after it for 2018 so please let us know whatever you guys think uh, if you've uh, really think that these are awesome you're like hey listen these are dumb these are never going to work we really don't care leave a comment down below if you want hit, please hit that like button and if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button um, we're really trying to look to just you know whatever we can do with this pelican and make this bass boat the best that we possibly can any kind of feedback that we get one way or another we really appreciate so you guys that are familiar with the channel you know what we do when we do it fishingwithvance.com